Anthony, and full of strength, and back again with Raid Shadow Legends. It has been a few days, apologies, minor, techni minor technical difficulties, but all sorted for just now anyway. Everything seems to be all good. Hope you're having a fantastic week, fantastic Thursday. It is absolutely roasting here in Aberdeen, Scotland. Hot day at work, sun was out, gun was out, you know, nice and busy. Uh, hope you're all experiencing really good weather and just enjoying your week. So, in this one, we're going to take a look because I've been doing some arena. And not long ago, I swapped my single man defense out for uh, just my, a normal defense. So we're going to take a look and we're going to just hang around in gold 5. Certain teams like a Tormund team, maybe some Arbiter teams, we're not going to fight because chances are we're going to be a little bit too slow. But we're going to see how much fun we can have with this team. If we need to change this team, we will. I really don't have... I could put in a few other champions, but I really don't have... Uh, that much to worry about. So, we could put in here the Gorgorab. So, Duchess is good for resistance. There's a chance we can get locked out, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to try it. Because people are saying Gold 5 is broken. Arena's broken, and you know, like, getting it to Platinum is easy. But uh, maybe it is, maybe it's not. We are going to find out. It could just be people are putting in single target defenses purely to help people farm their great hall. There is that type of initiative and mentality going around in the game right now. Or it could just be that, you know, Arena is a little bit broken, a little bit unwell with itself. So after this provoke, we are going to see if, okay, so the truth here is up. If we were quicker, what was going to happen was we were going to take out Gorgorab pretty much. Everything else would have worked at that point. Now we have uh, Mega Goggy, Fisk. We have a double revive, Chanda with Ceres, so. And we have Jingle Hunter, I think just because. This one is for Saffron, with all the pain that Jingo Hunter has caused him, we're going to take him out. We're doing some arena fights. We may, we may make a different team. Um, again, suggestions. Who do you want to see? I, re I really should make some teams, like a speed team and maybe like a go second team. But again, arena is something that I kind of, now and again, I'll be interested in. And I won't be, then I will be. It kind of, it kind of, like phases in, phases out. So we have Kaimar. Take this team here, Ghostborn, who is fantastic. Love that dude. Love Ghostborn. So are we quick enough? If not, we're going to sleep. So, decrease Termeter, Strip, Nuke, Pop, game over. Unless he has a badass Spirit Nuker, we're going to win. 16 seconds. <coughs> yeah, that team there, the double revive team. We could potentially try it. Just due to the Hegemon in that team, we're going to just avoid it. We will go for this one. Um, I don't necessarily mind. I hate seeing my sword in arena because that fear, I don't give a, it. could be 1% chance, could be a 9% chance, but it is always landing at 100% chance. I've never seen my sword not land a true fear. Ever. And it's ridiculous. It is the most broken thing, one of the most broken things in this entire game. Absolutely 
ridiculous that it can land continuously every time without fail. And I'm pretty sure it's not 100%. He's just such a pain in the ass. Absolutely. 2, 4, 5. So I've done it. I could potentially... Um, so what we need to do here is... We need to... I mean, how about we do not take in a decreased defense champion and how about we take in one of the old favorites? One of our old favorites. <clears throat> I don't even think the team set up uh, was set up for that team anyway. So let's just go there. Because we're not stripping the shields, we realistically we could have taken Ceres. It is what it is. You live, you learn. It really doesn't matter. So we'll just A2 for the sake of it because Faceless is going to. See, I think if we kill. I'm trying to think if the A2. The A, we'll just gamble with the A2. Come on. Uh, 71,000, can we reduce the, the shield, somebody should revive Arbiter, yes, perfect, let's reduce your turn meter, we have the A3 from Rotos and Faceless available, and Faceless is like legit, such a badass, he doesn't have the best gear, but he is, he is insane, so, let them do it. I don't give a damn what you guys want to do. Because your asses are going to get dropped. Ceres could have made this way quicker. And I'm just thinking about us taking Ceres in. <laughs> but in saying that, I don't want to leave the fight just for the sake of... You know, just... I mean, it's... Annoying as hell with all these buffs. Should we take Ceres in? Because we really were quick enough. Right, okay, I got an idea. Guys, I have an idea. I'm going to give the... You got lucky because I decided to give Krypton points. Otherwise, I would have bet him. But we're going to take in a different team. And then we're going to see how this goes. It's five to six in the evening. So we're quick enough. I don't think we need to worry about reducing turn meter. We are going to do that. Will we get cut in? Yes. That's a shame. We should have went A2. But regardless, we can slap somebody with an A3. Let's just... Oh, you weak hit. Okay. Goodbye. Krypton, you got lucky, mate. You got so lucky. But I'm over it. I really am. Faceless, you let me down on the grandest stage of them all. I mean, dude, come on. So a couple of hedgy teams. Would, if we're quick enough, we realistically should be able to have a chance with this one, Ceres. Fully. I'm going to slap some ass, hopefully. Just messing around casual Thursday in the arena. <clears throat> You'll have to leave... Uh, a comment of whether you think that it actually is broken, whether you think it needs to be fixed or it needs, you know, whether you think it's okay, whether you don't. The block revived by Foley. Dude, I love that. I love that Nuker. He needs better Savage gear, but I love that block revive. It's so good. Like, revive whoever you want, because it ain't going to work. Waste your A4 and your A3. Slap. See, it's such a, such a good champion. 
so it goes 313. There's potential for that if Arbiter Trondi gets taken out. Uh, Hedgy, Hedgy, we're going to leave. Krypton just got lucky. Asby. Hmm. If we're if we're quick enough, we'll see. I mean, it's really it's arbiter versus arbiter at this point. That's realistically what it is. I'm not sure what. I think chosen did a, a, a an, an analysis of a speed or cobru maybe was it with the speed you would need for each. Uh, oh, here you go. Each tier, it was like three, 300 plus it must have been. So we've got Arbiter, we'll take on this Kaimar team. <clears throat> they have Geomancer, who is pretty solid. I'm sure if you can hear that, but we absolutely have the ice cream van outside. And uh, can we nuke? Boom. Apart from Geomancer, it really makes no difference to me because he's dead now. So Sela Magic, Kaimar will maybe be next. Vogoth is a fantastic champion. I did think about six star him. Um Curing Gear was mentioned by Boomer in a collab with Ash, and it makes perfect sense. Or, a, or just, a, just a high HP shield set, or a really big regen, uh, a regen set or something. Just make him so annoying, because you never know, but fun never dies. So who we have here? We have the Tura, Cardiel. This team here looks rather tanky. And with that being said, I want to take it on. Look out for the video. It was on the channel a while back. And I look for teams. I think it's like over 250, 300k player power, oh, power teams with uh, faceless. And we are slapping like everybody is absolutely worth a watch there's just some some badass teams in there they get beat and it's insane that you would you know, just be able to walk through some of these very well built teams so that's him down arbiter can revive him it's all good it makes no difference she does like to waste her A4 for some reason. Uh, God knows why. It's so stupid. It just prolongs having to revive someone because we need to work the cooldown. We really, I really should check the setup for the team and try to have her A3 as primary. I think the chances of us having to revive first are quite slim. So, Foley. Kill Vogoth. Take him down to Chinatown. Come on. A minute and a half is a pretty... I'm not sure whether that's too long or if it's okay. I'm not sure at all. So, we have Arbiter Ego. We have, oh, that team looks like a pain in the ass too. <clears throat> oh, that one looks good. A few of these teams look okay. Oh, we have a Foley team. This could be interesting. We're going for it, man. We're going for the win. My Foley versus theirs. And they have a Trunda. So decrease turn meter, strip off that shield, and sealed fate. Good night. Love it. Who would have thought your boy would be in gold five? But it may be me. You know, it is what it is. Um, but you know, it's cool. 
Let's take on the Arbiter team. See how we compare with some of these Arbiters. This is not just fun, this could potentially be research. My Arbiter is 3... 321? 322? Give or take. Uh, with our Aura and so forth. And if we're going first, and we have granted Lissandra to reduce turn meter by 30%, increase speed of the teams, which obviously changes things up. We could potentially be going quicker than players over 350, 360. Which is very interesting. So, energize. So, Yannicka is somebody I recently summoned that I got from uh, the Bazaar. Fantastic. Also, got Jekstar from there, so at some point I have to build her. Yeah, so we have that annoying ass team, that team, I'll go for this one. Epsion is a team that you would take Faceless into, because you would need to one-shot, I'm guessing through a big shield. So, Cecilia looking badass, I have to say. She does look good. She does look good. All dead. Uh, is she going to do any damage? No. Next. So this team here. Depending if we're slower, um, if we're faster. We'll see how it goes. Um, there is some teams I've noticed that the says if we're too quick when she does the strip of the buffs. Too early, and if we get cut in, they then buff up, and it just makes everything way harder. So, but we've got two people feared. We're gonna just see how this goes. Was Bastion of Faith? Let's just jump in here for a second. Can we remove all of those? Fantastic! I am loving it. Small bit of damage. She never stunned anybody, which is awesome. Okay, maybe she'd have hit marker on that one. This is four times at random. See who it goes for. He has reaction. So we can't kill her, which is good. We're going to slap him. Still will do a revive. We're now hitting over a minute, which I'm not hugely like bothered by it is what it is but if we can get some decent chunks of her hp i would be very much happy with it she ain't going to be reviving anytime soon to fear turn meter manipulation more turn meter manipulation i'm going to slap you down we should be good to auto from here. I will just tap on her. I don't want her potentially getting counter attack. It's just really annoying. It's uh, it just wastes time. We've already taken a couple of minutes here, which is longer than we realistically should be. But this is a team that I have not speed tuned. Um, you've potentially seen the build of everybody in this team. But yeah, we're we're doing okay. I mean, some of these teams that you look at are they look kind of decent. They look you know, they must be okay if they are in gold five to a certain point. Um, we're absolutely just going to test our luck. I do have Warlord, but I'm hoping we're quick enough that I won't have to take him in. So if I have to take in a Warlord, then I have to take out somebody else. And obviously, if uh, we get put to sleep, Orcus Rituals, yeah, we game over. But it's okay. It was worth a shot. It was absolutely worth a shot. Really don't want to take in my Warlord, like their Warlord. And 
And it's just, it is what it is. It happens, it doesn't happen. A lot of Arbiter teams can just throw on. We'll take a look at an Arbiter team in a minute. I believe we've got a few more tokens that we can use here. It should be okay. Then I'm going to get something to eat, I believe. I'm going to get washed, have something to eat. Maybe drink something. Some, some Something refreshing at least. And then we'll see what happens from there. Um, there is champions I want to build. I just have to make sure I've got the gear. Like there's Gaius, there's Yannicka, there's just a, an umpt. A massive list of champions. But I need to, in the same respects, I think, farm some gear. Um, there's also builds I would love to update. And change. So, right, let's just go for this one. Valkyrie teams are annoying, let's be honest. Um, if you have a Valkyrie, it's fantastic. Stick with immunity. Um, if you don't, I mean, you just, you just have to contend with her. You can give your team resistance, but then it takes away from other stats. And there's no point building a team purely for Valkyries. Because the counter-attack is just ridiculous. So, come on, Skull Crown. Buff Strip. Pop! Thank you, Ceres. Love it. So beautiful to see. So, okay. That team is potentially annoying, but a Seer could destroy that team. We have that one, that one, that one, that one. I mean, we could take a look. Um, we'll see. See how we're getting on. We did receive a, sort of like a, up, a raid update a couple of items a few days ago, and I, when I logged in earlier, it did say that we had some compensation. So um, I think it was a, a clan boss key. Uh, it was clan boss key, energy, just some silver, I believe, in things. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's nice enough. I'm still seeing third anniversary kind of packs. Not that I'm... <sighs> None that I have been hugely interested in, to be honest. So we'll see how much, see if we have tokens left, we should have. I have been trying to use my tokens because otherwise I've got some that might expire for 3500 points. So 191, that's a annoying team there. Tower, I mean, we'll see. <clears throat> so let's do a couple of these and then we might be pretty set for now because this is arena mayhem this is fun this is throwback thursday no? the time when arena was a better place so they're using my own terminator booster against me they're going to stun me and skull crown is going to nuke oh oh no that's a shame are we going to get to revive no it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Very well played. Nethro, obviously, top tier. I do have Nethro. He, I've, I used him in Arena. I probably can't count how many times I've used him in Arena. He's, he's that good. Dungeons. Used him in Spider. Used him in Ice Golem for the waves. I've used him to. Like for Dragon, I've used them in Doom Tower, Faction Wars. So if you lose this, because it's mainly Arbiter teams, yeah, we're gonna. There's no way we can come back from that. It's mainly Arbiter teams, and we might be. We're half. We're not even halfway up yet. But we don't want to get too carried away with. 
are better teams because we're potentially going to lose against some of these others. Fully cooked. Am I going to get baited into this Mountain King and he's going to one-shot my whole team? I'm willing to take that gamble. But I see a lot of Arbiter teams. I'm questioning whether my Arbiter realistically is quick enough. It is a good question to be fair. Are we quick enough? Only, only one way to find out. <clears throat> But overall, I mean, how do you guys view Arena? Uh, what's your what's your overall take on it? You know, do you think it's broken? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's there? Need there needs to be changes done? I'd love to hear some feedback on it. Let's do a couple of fights. We are going to win. We are going to lose. After that, I will say farewell. Let you enjoy your. Beautiful Thursday afternoon. Come on. Boom. Thank you. Come on. Give me some quick victories. So the hedgy teams are annoying. Let's see. So we killed Jingle Hunter because of Saf. That's the reason we're now going to go for Ethos. And it's kind of like double edged sword. Just to be cheeky, can we kill an Ethos team? No, we're too slow. Oh, we got put to sleep? Yeah, we're dead. There's no way we're surviving an Ethos hit. Not even close. Ooh, and he'd never killed Ethos. If he did, that could have been way different. That fight was so much cooler than I thought it was. So, what do we have here? Heavy kind of force team. Interesting. I, mean, I like force champions. I think in an arena, just being force gives you a, a major, major advantage. It truly does. Especially if you've got draft and you've got like a lot of good. Uh, so you, ne you never strip the buffs. So I need to. I need to check why. Your skills are not on cooldown. It makes no sense why you would not strip buffs to begin with. I need to... I need, to, I need to look into that, but I not, I'm not sure we can come back from this one. No, I do not believe we can. But guys, anyway, <clears throat> that was some arena fun in Gold 5. Where are you currently in arena? How do you, what's your thoughts on arena? You know, this was just me hanging around, having a bit of fun, looking at random teams to get some victories. But... I'll leave you here. I'll let you enjoy your beautiful Thursday. The sun is out, so enjoy yourself. Uh, enjoy every second that you can. We're about to kill Archbishop Pinthroy. And when we do, now is the time I say, I am Villasink. Stay safe. Keep on reading. See you in the next one.